As a Kazakh folk song says, the Kazakhs work the most in the world as well as move house the most. On our way to Canada's lake, we saw a lot of yards along the way. So I decided to take a closer look and see what's inside a Kazan's yard and how is their life. The moment we stepped into the yard, Zibina, the mother of the family, started to prepare nuts, Xinjiang-style milk tea and barsaki, a type of Kazakh fried bread for the unexpected guests. Uh -huh. As the most common type of nomadic dwelling, a yard is a circular tent traditionally constructed of wood, bamboo, felt, and animal skins, and crowned with a dome. It is also profitable and usually takes about two hours to set up. Kazakhs often move their yards in summer and winter in search of the best meadow for grazing their livestock. The colorful and gorgeous felt crafting definitely caught my eyes when I first entered the yard. The grandma of the family, who is in her 60s, said she learned the handicraft skill from her mother and wants to pass it on to her daughter-in-law. People may follow the basic pattern but add their own style to the design. Zibina's family lifestyle is typical. They move to a fresh meadow in June, set up the yards, and grave their livestock. Eight-year-old Aid Li Zhao and his little brother Mayor Zhao spend their summer holiday together with the family on the meadow in Canas and move back home with their mother in September for school in Burki County in Altai Prefecture. Mm, this is what? This is one. Uh, this is two. This is three. <laughs> they do their homework and help the family with some daily chores. They love their lives with nature and even give nicknames to their beloved cows and sheep. So the mom just asked me to join her and to squeeze the milk from a cow. Actually, this is my first time. Outside almost every yard along our way, there is a solar panel. Zmina told me that the village committee gives solar panels to neighborhood families and these generate electricity for daily use. In Xinjiang, the duration of sunshine is usually about 16 to 17 hours per day, favorable conditions for the development and utilization of solar power. The setting sun is coming together with clouds and rain. When we were about to leave, Zibina, who was cooking dinner, invited us back to the yard to take shelter from the rain. This is the milk I just squeezed. really tasty. The milk is real pure and the taste is a little bit sweet. Adli Zhang said he wants to become a police officer and Mary Zhang a firefighter when they grew up, protecting people's lives and their beloved ones. Zibina's family is a microcosm of Kazakh communities in Xinjiang, with grandparents passing down traditions, father at work, mother doing housework, and the kids enjoying their childhood while learning about their nomadic traditions. Chinese care about carrying forward traditions. We learn, we practice, and we pass on. <laughs>